Good day. Uh, this is our output for IE104 uh, with the description of assessment in technology based learning. Our professor is Cheryl Bolsoto Nasol. Uh, to be presented by Ramel Bibibar, Ronald Redimano, La Arne Iliao, and Isaac Barroso. So thank you, Sir Bivar. How does Go Formative work? Go Formative was created to be a paperless form of communication between teachers and their students. Mm -hmm. Like create an assignment, assign it to students, receive live results, and give students feedback. Benefit! Go Formative has many different benefits, not only for teachers, but for students. It can be accessed through any device like tablets, computers, laptops, cell phones. It allows for students and teachers to use real-time communication, which allows the student to learn from their mistakes. Students change formatting by typing, showing their work, and drawing. So here's the web page for the GoFormative. First, you have to sign up first uh, as a teacher so that you can create class and quizzes. So for me, I have to check it first the assignments after which you have to create a class that is for basketball officiating whereas there's a 14 response already if you could see and there's also a profile whereas you could you could uh, place your profile of the teacher and of course there's a class. For the student activity, same thing with the teacher, they have to sign up as a student for them to become inside the class. So first, you could see that my first student was Janine Masnias, whereas she's the very first uh, taking the, the quiz or the lesson for basketball officiating. Next, uh, after signing up, so they have to proceed to the basketball officiating lesson and they may already take the quiz. As you can see that uh, Janine Mia has already uh, see the, the lesson and the, the quiz and she's already taking this. So here are the examples of the quizzes. For question number one, he, ans uh, he answers rather substitution. For question number two, she answers blocking foul. For the third, she answers stop the clock. For the four, two points. For number five, jump ball or held ball. For number six, start the clock. For number seven, three points. Number eight, that is traveling. For number nine, uh, ball return to backcourt violation. And lastly, number ten, charging with the ball. So, before answering the question, they, uh, they have to watch first the videos and after which the question will be posted on the on the quiz so after taking the quiz they have to submit the the test so after taking the test we can see already that uh, she have to log out after logging out we may see already the results of the students well uh, who have taken already the examination as we could see we have already 11 students here whereas Janine Mias, Alexander Dagio Ruel Martin Garcia, Kate Botor, uh, Yesali Nicole Balaguer. Again, Kate Botor have taken twice. Uh, Sheila May Adovas, Mary Maon, Janine Camacho, and lastly, Kenchen Katayna. So these are the 11 students, or rather 10 students, who have taken the examination. And if you could see on the right top of the of the of the web page, we could see the class code. And after they have taken all the examinations, we could see the summary of the of the answers of the students. And we could see also the discourse of the students. So for this particular examination or test, so each question is corresponding 10 points. So therefore, we, we could see that Kate Botor has 100 points. So therefore, she got a perfect score. Whereas Janelle Camacho has already only 70 points. Ketchen Katayna has 80 points. Alexander Dagio has 90 points. Plessy Imperial has 80 points. Sheila May Adobas has 90 points. Mary Maon has 60 points. Ruel Martin Garcia has 50 points. Janine Mias 80 points. 
and Jessa Nicole Olager has 80 points. From the test itself, we could see that uh, Ruel Mar Mar Martin Garcia is the only person who got 50 points. That's it, that means 50-50 uh, in terms of grade. So that is the score, and we could see already what are the uh, errors or what are the things to be improved by the students if they would like to take the another test. One, briefly describe your test class. What kind of assessment was done? What were the learning objectives that you were trying to measure? The test class is from Section Platinum Grade 9 students of Pitogo High School. We use Go Formative to test the students' learning outcomes if they have learned the online lesson. As our learning objectives, students should be able to first identify the actual basketball situation online and deliver the official calls. Second, heartfully place themselves as the referee of the game. And lastly, adopt the feeling of an official during a basketball game. What teaching assessment tool was used? Describe briefly and justify why it is appropriate for your class. GoFormative is an online assessment tool. It lets teachers create questions and distribute them to the students on their devices. In this assessment tool, the teacher can include questions, multiple choice, fill in the blank, true or false, and show your work. Text blocks, images, YouTube videos, and whiteboard that the teacher draw on. This tool is great for formative assessment. Teachers can use this at the beginning of the new chapter or at the end of the lesson to check for the student's understanding. Just like in basketball officiating, the teacher can easily make the evaluation for the student to answer. The teacher can add pictures of hand signals for officiating and also videos in the assessment tool. The teacher can add also YouTube videos by adding the web address for the YouTube videos. When the, when the students answer questions, teacher can see them in real time and comment and grade in real time. Teacher create an account on www.goformative.com. Add questions and assign to the class to respond. Teachers can add classes, students can create accounts, or students can just put in their name to answer. Formative has pre-made questions that are great for exit tickets. Teachers select the question and give the students the quick code. Students open a web browser, go to the formative website, and enter the code in the top right corner. Students are given a text box for written answers or a white board for questions that they need to draw something for. The teacher can select live results and watch as all students log in answer the questions. As the answers come in, the teacher can give a grade using a sliding scale and also give short comments back to the student. Teachers have the option to upload existing assignment in PDF or doc format to goformative.com. With any type of teaching or assessment program or software, there are pros and cons that come along. The best pro of GoFormative is time management. We have seen that as we tested this program. It helps teachers create assessments with easy and it takes very little time. Another benefit is that they cut costs for teachers and school with assessments. Being online, there are less tests or quizzes being printed out. Now, the cons of using GoFormative is technology is not always accessible and there are times when the software of internet are not performing well causing the assessments to not be able to be given. In our case, we are in a public school. It means that some of our students cannot afford to go online and of course to rent computer in the internet cafe another con is there is an essential consideration of whether using technology that will facilitate the teaching learning and assessment process without altering the classroom based instruction task and skills that are being taught and assessed there is concern that using technology to facilitate the assessments that there will not be as much actual teaching in the classroom and that teachers will become lazy 
and use technology to teach and not their own knowledge. So there you go. Those are the pros and cons of Go Formative. So that's all and thank you.